In this analysis, we wish to test the conditions of normality and equality of variance when performing a multifactorial ANOVA to test whether the number of punches in simulated boxing conditions is affected by the subject, the boxer, the level of hydration of the boxer, and the bout number. We perform this check through the ANOVA analysis itself, general linear model, univariate. The dependent variable is the number of punches, and the fixed factors are the subject, the hydration, and the bout. We must define the model we're using for this analysis. We will include subject, hydration, and bout all as main effects. And we will also look at the interaction between the hydration and bout as an interaction effect. Continue. We can test for the homogeneity of variance within the options menu. And we will select homogeneity tests and continue. We will also choose to save the residuals between our experimental data and the fitted model. We will select standardized residuals and we will press continue and then run the analysis. We see in the output Levine's test for the equality of error variances and we can see a p-value of 0.946 which shows that there is no significant difference from an equality of variance across the various conditions of the experiment. So this condition is satisfied. We can see that the residuals from the analysis have been entered as a new variable ZRE underscore 1 in this new column and we can now analyze these residuals. So we will use Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, Explore. The standardized residuals are now our dependent variable and we wish to test that these follow a normal distribution so we will use plots. We will test for the normality using a normality plot with tests. Continue and run the exploratory analysis. This gives the descriptive data for the residuals and we see that both the skewness and kurtosis values are less than the standard error, showing there is no significant degrees of skewness or kurtosis in the data. We can then look at the tests for normality, both the Kongorov, Smirnov and Shapiro Wilkes. Both of these give p-values which are greater than 0 0.05, so there is no evidence of any significant deviation from normality for the residuals. This is confirmed when we look at the normality plot in which we see that the observed residual values lie closely with this diagonal line which represents a true normal distribution. So we can be content that the data for the boxing case study shows normality and equality of variance and satisfies the conditions for performing the analysis of variance calculation.